it's me Ben from the Ben Cozy YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna review a new gun QBZ. So yeah, here is the box. And before we review it, you can easily see I'm using gloves. But these are not any normal gloves. These are biking gloves. So technically these are budget army gloves. Yeah. I'm to open the box. But before I open the box, I'm just gonna say that this is not a gel blaster, but this is automatic and it's faster than the M4. Yeah, the blue one. So we have everything from the box. First of all, we have a sling, different from the M4 sling, the red one. We have the battery, and we have the battery charger. We have a 4X scope, but a bit different. And this is how you zoom in and out. Just scroll it left or right. So yeah. So you go here, go back for zooming in, and you go to the front for zooming out. Then we have like a Pikachu rail where if you want to put a laser, you can. You want to put like a scope, you can. So yeah, two different scopes. And then we have like this orange piece that I don't know what you're supposed to use for. And then we have like this uh, thing over here. These are screws and they're actually quite better to handle. Okay. Then we have the laser itself. But now the laser is a bit, it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's not connected straightly. So basically the laser is pointing a bit to the right even though yeah so basically this is basically broken and i don't think i'm gonna use this so it still lights up then we have this stick honestly i don't know what to do with it so if you guys have this gun you can comment down of what to do with the stick because i don't know what to do with it yeah so next up we have this hand grip it's a bit different and not like the M4 hand grip, there's actually a button here so I can easily put it in without any screw problems, so yeah. I had a few problems with screwing in the grip so I couldn't for the M4, the blue one. Then we have a big silencer, this looks big, I think this is bigger than the M4 silencer and of course this is different. Yeah, we have like some lines over here, then we have like this thing, like you're supposed to just yeah, technically it does look more realistic, which is pretty cool. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna put this up. No, no. Okay, like that. Then we have the muzzle. Yeah. Then we have like, I don't know, honestly, like there's some lines on the thing. So you have to know how to put the muzzle in the uh, gun. Okay. Then we have the magazine, which actually doesn't really look like a magazine. and. When you pour in the magazine itself, it's not gonna, like, this whole piece, it's not gonna get in the gun. It's just like, like this part of the, this part of the magazine will get in the gun, but this part won't, so, yeah, no. I don't know, it's pretty unrealistic, according to me, but yeah. Then we have the stock itself. We already have the stock, but like, this is just the stock plate, like, why do you have to take out the stock plate? That's for you to put in the battery and just put it in like that. So yeah, then we have the gun itself. And no, you don't have to reload the gun. Even though the real life version, you have to do this in order to shoot. Technically you do, but this is basically a hidden switch. So yeah, even though there's no switch on the gun, nah, this is the switch. You hear like something like some uh, electricity thing. Yeah, that's the, that's kind of, it's basically like a car. Now the car has an engine and you have to turn it on. Just like a, this gun, you have to turn the battery on for you to shoot. It also shoots very fast and very loud. Yeah, so yeah. Basically this is the key. You put it in the car and the engine will go up. The, so yeah basically like that and then we have the trigger very light um this if i'm not wrong this is a chinese gun yeah and i remember it may being built in china the real life version of the gun is from china but that's what i remember 
and this gun is in COD, but they changed the gun, the gun name a bit, and I'm pretty sure it's not this type. They pro maybe the gun that they have in the game is the machine gun version, and we also have this same gun in PUBG, and it, you can only get the gun in PUBG if you go to Sandhawk. Yeah, PUBG Mobile 2, PUBG Lite, yeah. You gotta go to Sandhawk to get this gun. Any other map? Impossible. I don't know. Well, maybe they'll add it to other maps, but yeah. I don't know if it's in Free Fire, but I think it is in Free Fire. Yeah. So now let's assemble it. So, uh, yeah, let's assemble the gun now. So the manual has like that M4, right? The one with the shell ejecting. Nah, this gun is not shell ejecting. It's just a normal fast shooting dart gun. Okay. Hold on. There you go. We now have a muzzle. And then after the muzzle, I'm gonna show you proof that, no, this whole part of the mag, this upper part of the mag, it won't come in all wrong. See? Some of it is still exposed, so pretty unrealistic if I'm gonna say. But that's just my opinion, okay? You don't have to criticize it, but yeah, my opinion. And then we're just gonna put the silencer, cause why not? There you go, fits right in. Okay, this gun is actually getting pretty big. Okay, um, I'm gonna take this. Though I don't really like to put the uh, the foregrip. It's not a foregrip, it's a, I forgot the name, jeez. Jeez, bro, I forgot the name. But yeah, now it's actually pretty tactical looking. So if it's tactical, you're supposed to have like a flashlight, maybe a laser sight, maybe the Mars laser sight. Cut. No, that's not a laser sight. That's a scope, but also has a laser on it. Yeah, it's called Mars. M-A-R-S. Yeah. Maybe you should Google like Mars sight. I don't know. That was from the game Phantom Forces in Roblox. I honestly don't know the real name. Though it's probably the real name. Because they the real name of the other sites there, yeah. The real name also in real life. So let's uh, put in the battery now. I'm going to... There you go. Okay. If it can't get it fit it anymore, just keep on pushing. Ow. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, I can still feel pain there. Is this already Mac Max? Oh yeah, that is. And then you just need to put the wire in. Do make sure to not break the wires, okay? You just need to uh, cramp in the wires. That That's not how you use the word cramp. Okay, that's it. It's already at max. You can't put it in anymore. Got it in. All right, let's put in the stop now. So you see like these uh, holes, spaces. Now you gotta put it just like that, where, where you have the spaces and then you gotta make sure that none of the wire is outside. Now you just gotta push that in. There you go. Now it's closed. Surprising thing is, it shoots very fast and the fire rate is probably as fast as the M1919 machine gun. Oh my. <laughs> that's, that's a bit underwhelming. It's really easy to control, but um, for weight, it's actually pretty light. I'm actually surprised. Just kidding, I'm not surprised. It's made of plastic. And even though I do have plastic guns, this feels weaker than cheap plastic guns. I don't know, don't ask me that, okay? But I, I can just imagine myself just playing with this. Like, I just do it like this and then put my hand up there like a turret. Or I don't know, like, uh, I honestly forgot which gun. Yeah, it, it might be the M249. Yeah, just, just doing that and then suddenly dropping it. And then, oh, guess what? The suppressor broke, cause the suppressor on my M4, the red M4, it cracked and broke. But mm, it did fix with some tape. But yeah, so this gun shoots fast, off, And no, this is only fully automatic. No, 
exception for other uh, fire rate uh, not fire rate what's it called like shooting methods like the single i mean like you can do that but there's really no button to specifically make you do that like the m4 the scope laser and sling so i'm actually kind of surprised that this time the scope they it looks like the real deal it looks like the real thing like the scope that i got for the m4 uh, the red m4 the one from the first video yeah it doesn't really look that realistic this one like the whole thing is just on to the tip but this time they made it a bit from the tip now that is just like the real the real scope so yeah and then they also added a piccantini rail which you can put anything and the way you also can zoom in and out is using this part which is also surprising to me because that is how you do it in real life so let's put it in now and they also updated the screws so they made it easier okay oh no is this stuck Oh, it's just tight. Why did I screw it tight though? I don't know. Okay, let's put it in. Come on. No, no, no. I don't want to do that yet. Uh, yeah, even though the laser's broken, I uh, might as well. So, just like the Mars site, we have a laser and um, scope combined, okay? Why can't you put it in? Okay, there you go. Okay, this, this actually looks very Black Ops. This looks like the hybrid site. You know, the one from COD Black Ops 2? They call it the hybrid, hybrid optic. Yeah, they call it the hybrid optic and optic is actually another way to say scope or sight. Now let's put it in. Okay, I'm gonna screw it a little bit tighter so it won't just fall off. Am I screwing it? That is not how you screw it in tighter. I, I was about to lose this screw itself. Jeez, dude. I gotta be more careful, oh my. I don't want the same three accidents to happen all over again. Oh, that would be painful. Okay, I gotta... Okay, put this upright. Take the sight, optic, uh, scope, anything you want to name it. And then, I'm gonna put it to the edge, cause why not? You know what, this is a bit too close. My eyes will get hit by the, uh, yeah. Okay, this is just enough. Let's screw it in now. I heard that chair. It's not actually, I'm, it's not actually because I'm disturbed by the chair, but I heard it. <laughs> All right, let's put on the sling now. Okay, just like the M4, just slide it in. The red M4, okay. Don't get confused by the blue Nerf M4 from the Gel Blaster Red M4. Okay, that's one. Okay. Two. Oh my! This looks overwhelming now, and this is actually heavier than it was already before. Okay, I'm gonna put as little force I can on my first hand and see how how it will just yeah. These suction cup dots only stick to flat surfaces. Wall, how, the wall that's right behind me, no, they're not, they're not flat, they're rough. Yeah, like example, plastic, mm, glass, but not plastic bag kind of plastic, hard plastic like the plastic we have here. Metal works, but it has to be very flat. So yeah, here's an example. And of course, as I said, glass, it also sticks here. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Yeah. Now we're going to load the darts. The loading mechanism is just like the M4. And you have a maximum of 13 darts. By 13 darts, you can already feel the spring not taking it anymore. It, it just can't. So yeah, here is w Okay, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. And <laughs> why am I doing the next sense? 10, 11, 12, and 13. There you go. 13, and I, I can feel the spring just stopping it. Yeah. Okay, now let's put it in the gun. 
I'm gonna get you in now, boy. Let's go shoot it now. Okay, so even though I already saw the power and how fast it can shoot, I'm just gonna pretend like I haven't shot it before. Uh, yeah, so let's start with hip fire. I'm actually still surprised. Okay, uh, that's hip fire. Okay, now let's try the normal type that we normally use. I'm gonna turn on the laser. Are you actually, it's broken. <laughs> Even though I'm aiming it straight, the laser is aiming to the... Yeah, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my other laser instead. But for now, I'm just gonna use the scope and... Well, ow, my eardrum, that hurt. <laughs> okay, before I'm gonna shoot it uh, with the close-up camera type of thing, yeah. I don't understand how this shoot like, shoots like, it's a, like an it's a SMG. SMGs tend to shoot fast, but even though this is an AR, I don't know. My eardrums, they hurt. This is like a mini movie. Uh. So, before I talk about the conclusion, you know how I said it sounds like a mini movie? Well, it's like an actual movie. It's loud, it surrounds the whole thing, and the fact that this is, this is an enclosed space and not that big of a room. It just makes it even louder than it already is. Like, yeah. And another thing that I noticed is it kind of has a carrier sight. You might know if you play PUBG, basically any game, you might have already noticed that this, it looks just like an M16A4 now. They're not actually similar or identical, but they use the same type of thing. The M16A4 also has a carrier sight. Now, the M16 used in the Vietnam War also has a carrier sight, okay? So yeah. Okay, time for the conclusion. Disclaimer, all of these are in my opinion. If you disagree with any of these, like pros or maybe cons, yeah, it's fine, cause it's my opinion, your opinion is also fine, everybody's opinion is fine. Let's just get on to it, all right? We got the pros first, all right. Now I like this part, this is number one, okay? Why, why do I like it? Just look at it, man. You can put a laser sight, you can put another sight, maybe a, a cobra sight, or maybe a red dot sight from the M1014, yeah. Two sights, one for close range, one for long range, which is this, the, which is this optic, or you can put a laser just like the one that I have here and then another thing that I like is they actually put in some good detail on the carrier side they actually put two types it's back here now you can also do this on the M1014 but you need a screw to do it but on here you guys need to use your finger there you go there you go yeah okay another pro is this sling and yeah, the sling here is pretty big because I adjusted it. So it's a very easy adjustment. It's basically a bag, but not a bag. So yeah, then we have another pro, and that is the fast fire rate. Yes, it does run out of a lot, but that's what it comes with the pro. The good thing about the fast fire rate is it finishes ammo in under five seconds, meaning. Technically, if you're fighting in close range, you use this gun, it's pretty good. Yeah, it shoots pretty fast. And yeah, okay. So I think that's all the pros. So let's go to the cons now. Okay, now for the cons. Now, okay, the first con, I'm gonna put it on the first, cause why not? And that is the fast pirate. Okay, remember when I said that this is for the cons part? Yeah, here's cons. And remember when I said this thing can shoot all the all the darts in under five seconds? Well, that's the annoying part. This thing has a magazine capacity of 13, and it can shoot up all the darts in under five seconds. It may sound like an SMG, but this is an AR. Okay, so I mean, like, I guess that's pretty cool, but you'll just end up wasting all of your ammo. So. 
even if you buy like multiple magazines and put them on your pockets or maybe like your vest during a Nerf war, they can easily dry up. So what I would prefer to you is do this and just do this. Or if you want to do burst. So yeah, you can do both of those, single and burst. So you can't use the button and just make it immediately like that. You gotta, you gotta force it with your own finger. There's no button to do that. And okay, number two is the material. Now, yes, my red M4, the blue M4. Okay, those are made of plastic. The red, blue M4, and this one, plastic. Kind, most of the builds from those guns are plastic. So this one feels weaker. Yeah, even though they're supposed to be like hollow, why did they make it very hollow? Like, I can, this is, this feels weak, okay? I can imagine myself playing with this, dropping it and suddenly like, the muzzle, like, I don't know, honestly. I, don't, I just don't know, like, this one is very light, okay? The grip is light, and that's just proof. Okay, number three. It's the big and bulky stack. Now, I don't like it, has. It's just big and bulky, okay? Though I am gonna grow out of the phase and I'll get used to it eventually, but for now, I'm not used to it. So I just put on the cons and yeah, that's all the cons and pros. So now, I want you guys to stay safe, stay healthy, don't forget to stay happy, and I'm gonna see you guys later. See ya!